Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Lunar Goddess Tarot, formerly Divine Truth Tarot. I've just done a reading for mainly for the Divine Feminine and I uh, wanted to hop on here while I had a few minutes, I'm not sure how long, and got a couple minutes here. And what I wanted to do was see if I can tune into the energy of the masculines because Many feminines are feeling very forlorn and lost right now, very lost. I'm receiving emails responding to my videos and my vulnerability and my sharing. And so I want to see if I can give some comfort to those feminines. I did a long posting over on Patreon yesterday, which was talking about what the hell is going on, what's going on in the world, what's going on in these connections and how to sort of, how to, tie the pieces together, how to connect the dots, how to make sense of what you're feeling and what you're going through. And primarily my design and my goal when I'm doing these videos under such duress myself, because it is emotional duress that I feel like I'm under in this part of my journey. It's very challenging to continue, is that I want people to know that they're not alone. So let's go ahead and get some messages from your masculine. What would the masculine like the feminine to know? Three of cups. So the masculine right off the bat, this flew out, wants the feminine to know, I visualize and I want the celebration, this victory, this reunion with you as much as you want this. So I know this is what the feminine really wants and needs to hear right now because it can feel like the masculine energy doesn't care and it can also just feel like the masculine energy is in the state of denying the connection or resisting or ignoring or blocking you out or in some way not responding or reacting in the way in which you'd hoped. And this journey can be dizzying. It can be exhausting on all levels because what you would normally do or how the rules you would normally follow in a relationship don't work in a twin flame connection because it's your mirror and because there's triggers and there's lessons and there's past life karma and there's this density that you carry within your soul and your heart, this, this soul truth of knowing that this is the person that I am meant to be with. This is the person who I feel the most whole with. And of course you're whole within yourself but this is the person that I feel the most connected to in this whole entire world. How could I imagine not ending up with this person or not being with this person? And so a lot of feminines are just in this crazy energy with, Kay Moon talked about it. I haven't watched the video, but she's got a video on Juno retrograde. And I believe that's what she's talking about is the energies of the, the twins and the Juno represents the feminine she says and so with juno retrograde the majority of the rest of this year the feminine energy is just in a state of confusion and also in a state of denial herself okay and like feeling the finality feeling like what does this all mean what is this all for so let's get some more energies here the masculine wow three of cups ten of pentacles i feel like the masculine must be remembering the feminine with a lot of fondness and a lot of nostalgia and a lot of love. You know, Ten of Pentacles is this happy, abundant life, this, this nest that you've created for yourself. And it also talks about um, being financially well off and financially stable. And I think that's really important for the feminine to understand right now that even though the masculine's working on connecting to his spiritual uh, power and his spiritual strength, his spiritual belief system. The masculine is also very much hard at work in the physical world with rebuilding his life after the towers that fell last year, okay? And there's more towers falling for the masculine right now. Spirit, tell me about the towers that are falling for the masculine. The towers that are falling for the masculine are the so the page indicates there's a journey that one is beginning to walk on or walk towards 
and because it's the page of earth, the page of pentacles, it's, it's the, the world that we can touch, taste, smell, see, and live in and exist in, right? It's this world. And so the masculine is on this journey of re-acclimating himself to the 3D world, but in a brand new way from a brand new perspective. It feels really weird for the masculine actually where the feminine sort of just fed up with the 3D and fed up with the matrix and the lies and the deceptions and illusions because she's known about this for quite some time. She's recognized we're living in the matrix. The masculine denied it. In fact, my masculine laughed at me when I told him that the matrix was real. And when I talked about a collective, he said, I'll never be part of a collective. And he laughed when I told him, the matrix. he's like, no, it's not. And I was like, okay. So, and this was, you know, a year ago, but more than a year ago. Um, like a year and a half ago when we had this conversation. So many things have changed, many things have shifted for the masculine, but the towers that have come down are surrounding the 3D world. And so this is them embarking on a new journey, a brand new journey in the 3D. And then the Queen of Wands, this is them reclaiming their power. Like this is connected to their solar plexus. This is connected to their ability to create and manifest in their lives. This is connected to their feminine energy and the belief that they can manifest their dreams and have their dreams actually come true. They didn't believe this for a long time and many are still in this distortion right now going through this next tower. Um, so I wanna tap into this current tower. So the masculines, I also see the queen of wands for some, uh, a small group of these masculines, that's them recognizing you as the queen of wands and maybe feeling like the tower was that they felt like they couldn't compare or match up and that they didn't feel worthy of being in the presence of somebody so accomplished and somebody so inspiring and somebody so creative. They just didn't feel like they had anything to offer. You know, a lot of these masculines are businessmen and that's what they know and that's what they've lived. A lot of them travel for work. A lot of them, you know, were away from home and they designed their lives that way because they didn't know how to be intimate with themselves. And so if you're constantly on the move and you're constantly traveling, you don't have to be intimate with yourself or anyone. So the families they had, the lives they were leading were fake. They were frauds in the sense that they were deceiving themselves. And, you know, they'd come home for a day or two and pretend to be the husband or, you know, the wife. And it's like, but that doesn't work that way. Um, and just pretend like the marriage or the relationship wasn't crumbling to pieces. Okay, we're pretending that their, their former lives weren't crumbling to pieces if they were single. So we have this round and round card. So the current tower that the masculine energy is facing is kind of like the never ending story that came up for the feminine. This is the energy of the masculine just like being so tired of the circles and the divine stepping in and saying, all right, it's time to step out of those karmic circles and karmic cycles. It's time to create this new pathway. It's time to step out and be bold and be brave and create something new in your 3D world. Um, this is also, to me, the, the spiral of manifestation. So this tower is about them realizing that they can, in fact, manifest the life of their dreams and that they're not stuck. So masculines, you're not stuck. And this is, of course, you could wa be watching this for your inner masculine as I would advise you to do as well. Maybe watch it once for the outer masculine, watch it again for the inner masculine. All that glitters isn't gold. The masks have come off, the truth has been revealed, the stark truth, which is in stark contrast, okay, to what they thought was real. They thought it was real because it was tangible, because they could touch it. Well, I have this marriage contract, I have this house, I have this job, I have this money in my bank. So they, they, they equated that to it being real. But you can't take any of those things with you when you die. What you take with you is your soul. You take the lessons, you take your love with you, you take the experiences that you've had. And the masculines were wearing these masks and, and they were accumulating all this gold and all this abundance and all this money. And then at the end of the day, they felt empty, they felt sad, they felt completely alone, okay? And I do feel like 
the because the masks keep coming up over and over again for the twins in these readings that I'm doing. But in most of the readings, the masks have come off. So I feel like the masculine has taken the mask off and has elevated himself to a brand new place on this journey. And this new place is one in which he doesn't have to lie to himself anymore. There's no need to. The karmic cycles are closing out or have closed out. The healing has begun. The towers have fallen. The dark night of the soul has approached him, has, you know, cycled itself through him. And I think the next step for the masculine is not learning how to be authentic with the feminine energy. And this is his inner feminine. So feminine is you heal your feminine energy, the masculine will be inspired to heal their feminine energy. Usually I'd say as you heal the feminine, they're gonna be inspired to heal the masculine. But I do think both twins at this current moment, at this now moment are actually in a cycle um, of, both twins are in a cycle of chasing. So we had playing it safe and wasn't sure if I was gonna take it, but I was guided to take this card. So the, the feminines got this energy the other day and now the masculines are getting this. So the masculines, enter, you know, this is all the glitters. It's, it's going round and round playing it safe. This was their old, the old version, the old chapter where they played it safe. They went round and round with the same people, the same experiences, the same dullness, and they called it life, right? They called it living. That's not living, that's existing. So they definitely played it safe with the feminine. A lot of the stories that I hear, which matches my personal experience also, is the masculine came in really hot and heavy and strong in the beginning. And so for a lot of you, your masculine may have had the first epiphany in recognition, the soul recognition before you, which would have been a first for a lot of you. And then as time went on and the truths were revealed and you had your, your, you know, it's not even arguments. You had your disagreements or you had your triggers. I would just say triggers. You had your triggers with your twin. The masculine energy started to get more scared and the feminine started to fear being abandoned. The masculine started to fear, fear or feel like they weren't enough. And so the abandonment wound and the unworthiness wound was triggered in both of you. And it was enough to make the masculine run and the feminine run in their own ways. And so I just see you as two children. I see the masculine and the feminine in, the, in that stage or phase as two children hiding behind walls and peeking out and looking at each other but not approaching each other. So that's sort of where a lot of the counterparts have been recently. Okay, so we also have Optimism and the honoring path. The consciousness of optimism. So the masculines, as they work through this tower moment, are going to be in a more optimistic consciousness or state of mind. That's actually really nice to see. That's refreshing to see for the masculines. And the honoring path to me is always the career path, the career advancement path, the accolades, the awards, the recognition, the need for that from other people. Um, so I want to clarify that. Let's clarify the honoring path. Let's clarify the honoring path, please. Spirit, can you clarify the honoring path? life experience you know what <clears throat> yeah i thought so there it is the tower <laughs> just had to confirm the tower okay so the masculines are learning so we have two sevens, seven and six plus one is seven. So seven is a significant number for the masculine energy right now. So masculines, if you're watching, here's your tower that's hit, okay? The current tower that's precipitating this life change or shift. But 
it is spurred from the need for more experience, more life lessons, a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change, time to spread your wings. So it's time to step back from this honoring path and realize that the only true honor is the honor uh, of God and of your divine feminine. Um, and this divine connection that is meant to change the course of history, the trajectory of humanity and the course of the world. It's meant to change so many lives. So this is the importance of these connections. And I feel like this is why the feminine is feeling so frustrated and so exhausted is she knows how important it is for the counterparts to come together and merge in union. Can you accomplish your mission? This has been asked before separately. I, I mean, sure. But it's kind of like when you're single, perpetually single. And then you come into a relationship and you're like, oh my God, I thought I healed that trigger. I thought I healed that trigger. And so the soulmate comes in to precipitate more growth. Precipitate must be my word of the day. To create more growth inside of you, spur more growth. And so when, when you're by yourself, you're growing in certain ways, but a partner comes in and can create that much more change inside of you that much more growth and help you shift that much quicker so it helps you the masculine comes in stirs everything up turns your world and life upside down and then the soulmate may come in for some of you to help you through that growing process can you do that with your masculine yes but i feel like a lot of us haven't chosen it at this time i don't know exactly why i don't have all the answers Nobody does, but I feel like there must be a reason, okay, that we're all going down this timeline. Now, remember that timelines can shift very rapidly, very quickly, um, and your connection and the energy in your connection, the energy can shift as you shift within yourself. So the five of swords also to clarify the honoring path, an unwise choice. The masculines are realizing what were my motivations, right? What was, this is the tower moment. This is the tower moment. What were my motivations when I felt like I needed all that attention, all that fame, all that notoriety? I needed the women or I needed the men to see me and recognize me and think I was important and think I was beautiful, think I was handsome, think I was important, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, that's kind of how the masculine feels right now and the feminine feels like blah 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 that was all just noise it was all filler so it says learn what you can from the situation review your everyone's motives including yourself masculine reviewing your own motives for why did i feel that this was going to be fulfilling for me remember this is your inner masculine as much as this is your outer masculine okay spirit tell me how the masculine energy is currently seeing or viewing the feminine How is the masculine energy cur currently seeing or viewing the feminine? Wow. Remember, we started off with the three of cups and the ten of pentacles. So there is, the love is showing up in this reading. And it's actually surprising me because as the masculines are going through the towers, they're still showing up in a loving manner. Like he wants to present you with a gift. He wants to show you. He wants to this is a humble man who's walking towards you but this is a healed man because you can see if you look feminine you see this smile it's very authentic it's just real it's tender it's loving it's warm and he's put in some effort he's cleaned himself up he's gotten a fresh do a fresh haircut he's wearing nice clothes although it's a weird ass outfit but he's wearing nice clothes he's got flowers you know this is the, the true epitome of a gentleman a gentle man and so this is how the masculine kind of fantasizes about showing up for the feminine is how i see it like it's it's this is how he wants to show up and he feels like he can't show up like that right now so he's frustrated with himself and his inability to show up as what you need new life remember look we got regeneration in the previous reading right for the masculine because i did quickly look into the masculine energy and in this it's the same same kind of an energy it's new life so the masculine when he thinks about the feminine what how does he view the feminine he views you this is how he views you is stepping towards you and starting or embarking on this new life together 
Remember Page of Pentacles, embarking on this new life, no longer playing it safe, no longer um, worrying about what other people think, what other people expect, the honoring path, being more optimistic. And I feel like the masculine's having to be more optimistic because the feminine has been struggling with her optimism and her beliefs at this current time. The masculine, just like the feminine, is also relying on friends and colleagues to get him through. What's fascinating about this is I do think, and I've said it in previous readings this week, that the masculine's talking about the feminine to his friends and family and colleagues. Um, so even if he's out enjoying himself, going through this tower moment, putting on that face, not a mask, but putting on the face, you know, he also is in a place very much so he also is in a place of wanting to talk about the feminine, wanting to share stories, wanting to, like, he feels the need to speak your name, to tell stories about you, to keep it real, to keep it alive, to keep the faith and to keep the optimism and the hope. And there are people listening. There are people who are actually like, yeah, I think this is real. Like, what are you going to do about this, buddy? Like, wh what are you going to do with this? You know, this, this, you, you really love this woman or this man. So what's your next step? Like, what's your plan? And so there are people assisting him and cheering you on without you even knowing it, feminine. Your name is being spoken in his circles. Small circles, yes, but that's because of protection. Some of the masculines are still in between worlds in the sense that it's like their corporate world they're or juggling you know some of them have children from previous um, connections responsibilities and then it's like stepping into this new world so some of them are finding a little at a little they're like they need to find the balance between where they were and where they're going the past they're straddling the present they need to be more present um, so they're, they're a little too concerned about, they're just, they're a little bit in their heads, okay? And then we have Treasure Island. So to me, the Treasure Island is the reunion and the union with you, with their beloved. And they're working through some forgiveness towards themselves, actually, towards themselves, feminine. They are, they're working through um, forgiving themselves for not seeing what you saw, not acting on this connection, not taking advantage of um, the gift that they were given, which was you, which was your connection, which was, because for a lot of feminines, you met your masculine when you were ready and you were free and single, but the masculine wasn't. Oh, my company's here, of course. <laughs> well, we got an extra 25 minutes almost. So we're going to stop there. Um, I will try to do another reading. If probably not today, I'm going to work on a few personal readings, but I will jump on tomorrow or the next day. And so stay tuned, guys. Hop on, um, like the video, please, for support, and tap the bell icon to get all notifications, including um, just whenever I post a new video when I go live. Take really great care, guys, and I do hope that this has helped and clarify. I hope you enjoy these two readings today. Be well.